crucial. Our little laser level. <laughs> so we're at the airport waiting for our flight to San Francisco in like 45 minutes. Um, it's a six hour flight. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Not but fun. we're excited for going to the trade show. Um, SF now slash noted. It's like a greeting card and gift one. Um, and we're going to be there Wednesday to set up. Today's Tuesday. So tomorrow to set up and then Thursday and Friday is the show. So we're anxious and excited and we're getting in really late tonight so hopefully we have no tr trouble getting to our hotel but we'll see. to meet everybody yeah we're gonna meet a lot of people that we know from like instagram and stuff so i'm kind of excited for that Center. We're like right on the coast. Um, it's we just so saw, cool. Yeah, we just saw Alcatraz um, just across the, uh, I guess the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> and the big bridge. So. Yeah, yeah. We saw the little gate. Um, so oh. we're having fun. And we just rolled up to our booth. There it is. And they spelled it correctly. So what more could That's I ask for? <laughs> so we got a double booth. Um, and yeah, she is big. Um, these are the other booths all down the hall here, and we have all of our stuff packed into these two big suitcases that were just barely under 50 pounds. So, 48. 48 pounds. <laughs> so, I tried to get decals for our wall, um, and I wanted them to be 5 by 8 feet. 5 by 8 inches. We ordered both colors because I was like, well, I don't know which one will work best. But now we have room for both, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Oh, they fit perfect. <laughs> we got this cute tablecloth printed. You're crossed. And it looks okay. 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 Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. okay. The colors are not looking too deranged. Yeah, they look good. They look good. I think, I think this might be, yeah, I say it. Time to crack open the bag. Order. Shall these go up on the wall underneath our decal? I like all the pinkies together. Me too. That looks cute. good. Yeah. And then maybe like the blues near each other and the oranges. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. I think that's good. We brought so many stickers. Last time we brought maybe like 60 stickers and I think this time we brought like a couple hundred. So we're really gonna have like a whole wall of them. So I just taped the laser level to the wall and now we're putting all of our like best selling stickers up as like the first row along here. They're all kind of different shapes and sizes so it doesn't make sense to necessarily like make them super level and even cause then it just looks wonky. So we just kind of have to eyeball it. Depending on how that goes, it'll affect where we put the mouse pads. But, um, 
overall, I think she's good. And then I also need to iron all of the reusable bags so that they don't look creased from being folded up because that's how they come. So we'll do that tonight. And then we'll have a little bit more taping to do. Everything up here is taped to the wall with blue painter's tape, which I love because it's just so like cost effective and I feel like it looks really nice. So overall successful day only took us, oh my gosh, <laughs> Nine, Nine hours. <laughs> but we're just a little tired. A little tired, a lot thirsty. Oh, but we're so about to have a good job. Water. Water. That's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> but but not, she looks not, good. Not bad. <laughs> it's Trecho time. We're doing the final touches on our booth. We are going to put up mouse pads and probably our laptop cases. We just put up the reusable bags and now Jordan is kind of just straightening out the little like wristlet keychains we have. Um, so we are just so close. It took us like nine hours yesterday to do all of what is already up here because we had to make sure everything was level. We really got some use out of our <laughs> laser level. Um, but. I'm glad that we're almost all set up and we have like an hour until retailers start getting here and the show really starts. So I'm also kind of looking around and enjoying seeing all the other booths. Um, everything is just so cute here and I want to buy it all for Mill and Meadow. So <laughs> we'll see. We put together a bunch of little freebie bags that are the same material as our reusable bags. Um, and we stuffed them with our wholesale catalog and a sticker sample. And so we're gonna hand these out to retailers and we stuffed an entire suitcase full of them. And we're gonna put them in this little bag underneath our table block here. So that's what I'm working on just a few minutes before the show starts. starting to pack up and I want to show you guys how much tape we used to get the mouse pads on the wall. We literally went through an entire roll of blue painters tape to stick everything up here. The entire thing is gone. <laughs> but definitely easier than hauling shelves all the way out here across the country. So overall I would give the tape like a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah? It's a good thing. It is, yeah. So something I'm really happy that we ended up doing for the show was we did sample bags. So these bags are about eight inches by 10 inches. And we put one sticker sample and our catalog inside. And then obviously it's one of our prints on the outside. It's the same material as our reusable bags, which were pretty popular at this show and at New York Now, the last show we did. So we handed all these out and it was great because it was an easy way to start conversation with buyers and draw them towards our table. Um, and then the only thing I wish I had done differently was brought fewer of them. I wasn't really sure what to expect with the show and I will be completely honest, it was kind of slow and I don't know if we'll come back. Um, but the bags were like kind of a good attention getter. Like a lot of people were walking around at the show with them and a few buyers told me people were asking what booth they got them at. So then they were directing people back our way. Um, and so I'm happy that we did that and put in that effort. Um, and I think it'll also just be something that's a little bit memorable. Plus, I think it's gonna be fun because um, for people to use these for like gifting or like a reusable gift bag since they fit a bottle of wine. And that's what we're kind of telling people too is like, here, just take it, use it as like a, a gifting thing. Um, and I think that's really fun. Um, and we might end up putting some of these in grab bags too in um, our July grab bag edition. So we'll see, but they were, they were definitely a hit and this was definitely a good move I would do again. So I wasn't exactly sure how we were gonna do all of our displays, but what we ended up just doing was blue painter's tape. And it worked really well because all of our products are light and mostly flat. And then these are command strip um, little like rods that we put our belt bags on. And then all of our labels are decals. And it was definitely a challenge to get these centered and level, but we used a laser level when we were setting it up to make sure that it was good for that. And I think it worked out pretty well. Um, and then we did kind of the same thing for all of our notepads. We just did the top sheets so we didn't have to haul out here like literally 100 pounds of notepads. And you can kind of see the tape through it, um, but that was kind of just something I was willing to accept for the ease of bringing like one sheet of each piece of paper. So 
Um, I'm pretty happy with how all of that turned out with the booth and we kind of did the same thing with the stickers. A lot of people will put their stickers and their greeting cards on the wall and then like right underneath they'll put a SKU number. But honestly, I kind of figured we weren't going to be getting a lot of orders at the show. It would mostly be handing out our information and then kind of getting orders after the show and following up. So the SKUs aren't that helpful because it's just another thing that you have to like line up with the product and print out. And we brought like 100, 200 stickers. So that would have just been a lot to deal with. And I do not regret that at all. The SKUs wouldn't have been helpful for us this show. Maybe at a bigger show like Atlanta, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this decision. Um, and just kind of bringing like one of each item and just taping it to the wall, I think was definitely the move. Yeah, I think you drew a move. Yeah. Overall, we learned a lot from this trade show. I would say it probably wasn't worth it just because we had to fly all the way across the country. It was expensive to get those flights, then also get the hotel. Our booth fee was pretty substantial. It was $6,000 and we did not write that many orders. I think we took in maybe $2,000 in orders and trade shows aren't necessarily about making more money than you spend, but that is still a pretty big gap um, and I would like to see a higher return on investment and we do see that in New York. So we'll probably go back to New York. We're going to try out the Atlanta trade show, which I'm excited about, probably not until January. And I just don't think I'm going to go back to San Francisco. I would say the problem was that there just weren't very many buyers and it just wasn't very busy. Maybe it's because it's not as established of a show. I'm not really sure what happened. So I would say I'm like a little bit disappointed in that way. I totally get that it's a risk that you take. We did contact um, a lot of retailers that we already work with which is nice and we did get some retailers to look at our um, products in person and handed out lots of catalogs so you know it wasn't like a total bust it just wasn't a total success either so but like I said we did learn a lot which is always a huge upside and I'm excited to go try out our booth setup in New York, hopefully this summer and Atlanta in January. Thank you guys so much for following along with our journey at this new trade show we hadn't been to. And if you know any retailers like boutiques or little gift shops that are in your town or in places you like to visit, you should totally let me know and we'll reach out to them. I'm always looking for new places that we can expand EBD into. Thanks again for watching.